Howdy guys, this is the Milwaukee 2457 M12 cordless 3 8 ratchet. I've really grown to love this tool, but there are some power limitations that one needs to be aware of, so let's get to it. So overall, the 2457 M12 cordless ratchet is an absolutely fantastic piece of equipment. Obviously, we've got an M12 uh, red lithium battery right there. This is just a 1.5 amp hour. Um, when we depress it slightly, uh, we do get a battery gauge up top there, and we do have an LED that probably has almost like a 5 or 10 second turn off delay. Uh, to change directions right up top, we kind of just have a normal little recessed directional indicator like any other manual ratchet would have. Uh, it has also variable speed, so you can go anywhere from pretty slow like, to I think it's up to 250 RPM. Um, Milwaukee is a little unclear about whether you can th use this as a non-powered ratchet. I've seen some semi-official guidance both ways that's saying, sure, once you get it as tight as you want, you can kind of manually crank it down or break a bolt loose. I've seen some other guidance that says you can't. I think everyone sort of does. I know I have. Um, build quality is EXO. We have our standard, super tough feeling Milwaukee plastic here with a nice comfortable rubber overmold. If I were to nitpick and find one thing I kind of don't like, it's the um, trigger here. It's kind of like, kind of feels loose. Like, I feel like that should be tighter against that because it kind of feels like it gets snagged on something right there. Um, we also are able to do a trigger lock on it. So pull that right there and locks it out. Oh yeah, so. Uh, the manufacturer does claim 35 foot pounds. Uh, so we'll test that out. I've got a torque wrench uh, and a bolt over there. We'll try a few different torques. Uh, also, I'll kind of show you guys where this is really useful. It's obviously going to be in tight places, uh, things where a normal impactor couldn't really get. So uh, yeah, let's get to that. All right, guys. So the manufacturer claims 35 foot pounds of a breakaway torque. So we're going to go ahead and test that. I do have this torque wrench set at 35. So let's crank it down. There's 35. All right, 35 foot pounds. Uh, it's struggling there. I'm gonna say no on that 35. I think we're gonna switch it up to say 30. All right, here's 30. Nope, not 30. Twenty-five. Ah. Here we go, we got twenty-five. Took a couple tries. Just for fun, let's see if we can reset it to um, thirty-five and see if we can manually break it. All right, so I've reset to 35, and I'm going to try and just use it as a regular ratchet to break it free, and then, you know, use the power to actually pull it off. Yeah. And so, kind of cheated there a little bit, but it worked. So obviously the big uh, advantage to a cordless ratchet over something like an impact wrench or an impact driver is going to be accessibility. Like I've got a tight space here, you wouldn't realistically be able to get an impact driver in here uh, without some kind of right angle attachment. But the uh, Milwaukee M12 cordless fits in there no problem. Oh, there you There we go. If I wanted to pull that uh, 
little wheel axle off. I could, although I won't right now. I think the key takeaway here is the management of expectations. This is not an impact tool and doesn't have the power of one. I've seen two types of reviews for this product, ones that love it and ones that are disappointed it can't break rusted bolts free. But if you're okay with the idea that this isn't an impact wrench with a right angle attachment built in, I think you'll really like it.